Hey everyone, it's PhD Simmer here and welcome back to my channel and I'm actually doing a freaking build. That's a different. <laughs> yeah, I decided I fancied um, it, working a bit more on my building skills. I'm not very good. Um, I struggle. I mean, I can do one story houses and I can do, yeah, I can't do anything more fancy than that. Can't roof things. When I get to two floors, I struggle to roof things. <laughs> I really can't do it. But I've tried. I've really tried. So I have built a two-story, three-bedroom house. It's one of these ones where there's like a loft room. I don't know what the fancy term is for it, but there's a there's a couple of bedrooms in the loft, and I built the 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 walls around that for the roof. That doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. I built the roof around the rooms. I don't know. I uh, watched a couple of videos on YouTube before having a go just to see how you do it. And boy, did I struggle. <laughs> but I actually really like the end results. This is a base game only house. So I was um, trying to challenge myself a little bit with just using the base game. And the base game, ooh, she lacking in certain areas. I mean, actually, I was pleasantly surprised in some. But the things I noticed that were really bad were the single beds for like kids and teens Oh, that was a struggle. I just don't like any of those swatches. The sofa selection is mm, pretty poor. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, it wasn't too bad. There's enough decor and little bits and pieces, but I did struggle with the um with the bedrooms, I have to say. But actually, I quite like the final the final product. Um but yeah, anyway, you can see the build going on in the background. You're going to see my attempts to roof it in a minute which go horrendously wrong. <laughs> But I got there in the end. I got there in the end. Um, I actually, my biggest problem with building in The Sims is scale. I always make things way too big. Like I, I build it and I like floor plan it and I do all of that. And then I'm like, yeah, these rooms are absolutely freaking enormous. And I don't know what to put in them. I mean, I think it's okay when you've got all the expansion backs because you can fill up space with like ping pong tables and foosball tables and I don't know, random um, bits from... There's all sorts of like giant machinery, like you've got the cupcake machine, you've got the um, all the stuff that came with Eco Lifestyle. They're all quite big machines, like the candle makers and the the whatever you call it when you make things. And uh, yeah, that's not too bad. But when you when you just with the base game, it's a little bit of struggle to fill up the space. So I try to keep this house. Uh, reasonably sized or I think the rooms are big-ish I mean the living room's a little bit small you'll see that but I feel like the kitchen's a decent size and the bedrooms are decent sizes but without being like too over the top um but yeah that she she's a basic base game house so if you want to download it it's on the gallery carry 266 uh, yeah I hope you do I hope you have a go and you like it and let me know <laughs> I tried really hard for the landscaping as well because I'm not a fan of landscaping I get bored easily but um I, I tried my best with it so you'll see that in a minute but I guess what I wanted to say is I am back I have internet I have moved house I'm so excited for it so I moved house on I was supposed to move house the last weekend of November but then things all went wrong and I ended up moving a week later so I moved the 4th of December I think I can't remember the exact date but it was around the first weekend of December which is pretty stressful when you know you've got Christmas coming up and uh trying to move house and get broadband sorted and all of that was mm, it was a challenge so the moving process didn't take too long if you don't know I I am uh, I have been really unwell this year so I was a bit worried about all the stress um setting off my um Addison's disease and becoming ill but actually it went really well my parents helped me a lot my brother helped me a lot so I moved pretty easily. Um, I did like take my time with packing and I didn't lift any heavy things. My poor dad, oh God, I feel so bad for him. He had to move some really hefty stuff and I feel so bad, but it we got there in the end. And um, yeah, it took us maybe two days to move. It took me a long time to pack. I was packing for like ages beforehand, but it took two days to actually move everything, which wasn't too bad. And we didn't move, I didn't move far. And my dad has a pickup truck type thing, so we managed to put most of it on there. We didn't have to hire any vans or anything like that, so that was like one less thing to worry about. Um, the, the funniest thing was the day before, I think it was like two days before, um, the people who supply my house for my job, like I get my, my accommodation is provided for my job and I just applied for a slightly different job in the same team so that's why I had to move house um they provide basic furniture so you get like you know basics like um a sofa a dining table um a desk that sort of stuff um because it's a work from home job and um 
this is completely different to my farm job. If you know what I'm talking about, you might not know what I'm talking about, but I have two jobs and one of them is a work from home and they supply basics. And I mean, it's like cheapest of the cheap. So they bought some, they bought like an Ikea sofa, an Ikea desk. Um, I like Ikea, so I'm not too fussed. And they were like, mm, yeah, you, we're going to deliver it. And I'm like, well, I haven't got the keys to the house yet. So I had to ring up the estate agents and ask them if they could unlock the garage so I could put the stuff in there. And they were sort of like, well, you know, you haven't signed the contract. You haven't done the inventory. We can't really leave it open. I'm like, well, this huge Ikea order is coming. I have to put it somewhere. My flat is three, like a, uh, my old flat where I used to live has a spiral staircase and is three floors up. I can't be hefting sofas up there for two days. Like, please help me out. Please help me out. So in the end, they agreed to unlock the garage and there's a side door to the garage. So what they did was they unlocked the side door. They didn't unlock the gate to the whole property and they didn't unlock the garage door. So my dad had to climb over a like seven foot wall to get into the garage to unlock it. And he had to do that because every time we moved, we were like, well, OK, it's unlocked. Let's just start moving some furniture over now. Like, screw it. Like, we, we can put stuff in the garage and then move it into the house Like when we finally got the keys. So we did exploit it a little bit. So my dad had to climb over this wall about seven times. It was ridiculous. It was really tall wall. But he was really happy about it. Like, when he kept doing it, he kept going, oh, I'm, I think my dad is 50... What is he? He's 1966, he was born. So he's 55. And is it... Can I do you after? Yeah, he's 55. And he was like, not bad for a 55 year old, eh, cat? And I was like, no, he was like getting over this wall like really easily considering like not, you know, he's not unfit, but you know, he's an older guy now. So I remember when I was a kid, um, cause my dad was only 20 something when I was born. He's quite a young dad. I remember he used to pull himself, he used to do a lot of like, um, what do you call it? Like uh, weightlifting and stuff. And he used to be able to pull himself into the loft. Like the, he used to just be able to pull himself into the whole loft. And I was like, he can't do that anymore. He has to use a ladder. But <laughs> I said to him, just keep practicing. You'll be pulling yourself into the loft again. Anyway, I don't know where this story's gone. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm just chatting shit over this video. I'm so sorry. Um, but I'm just so excited to be back and having internet. So the broadband, yeah, so finally we moved. After that debacle, we actually managed to move okay. I've still got furniture to build. I've still got like a little side table and a chest of drawers and stuff to build but otherwise i'm pretty much moved in a house needs a little bit of paint here and there and needs a little bit of like tlc but i'm pretty happy with it and it just took so long to get broadband we had to wait for an engineer to come out and he came out on monday but as soon as he came out we were connected so that was good it was just a bit of an agonizing wait and i had i think i get 60 gig of data with my mobile package i think i paid 20 pound a month for 60 gig of data unlimited text unlimited minutes which is i think it's quite good my brother seems to pay less and have 100 gigabytes i'm like mm, might need to phone my company <laughs> and get a better deal but i didn't actually waste my phone data so that was good i was saving some just in case the internet went wrong we had nothing for christmas because you know it's stuff i want to watch on like disney plus and netflix and stuff so i did save a bit of data just to make sure i had enough for christmas but we're sorted we're absolutely sorted how are you guys? Are you ready for Christmas? Do you celebrate Christmas? If not, what are you doing? Are you going to just have some a bit of a work break or are you going away? Um, yeah, let me know what you're doing. I'm going to my parents for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and Boxing Day. So I'm excited for that. And then I'm back home the day after Boxing Day. Um, I'm actually going out with my friend uh, on Christmas Eve. We're taking her daughter to Disney on Ice. So I'm kind of excited for that. Like, mm, I like Disney. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous with the whole Omicron thing going on, but I've been, I've had my booster jab and apart from a bit of a dead arm, I felt fine. So, you know, I'm going to wear my mask the whole time and yeah, I had a bit of a dilemma with that as well because they were saying you could only take a small C3 bag, but obviously I have to carry emergency medication, which includes sharps and stuff. So I was a bit worried about like getting searched at the venue. So I sent them an email and they've sent me a confirmation email that I can take to say that I'm allowed to have a bigger bag and that I will be um, allowed to carry my shops. It's only like a needle, but obviously I understand that for these types of places, they don't want anyone having sharp instruments and stuff. So, but at least I got a letter to say I have to, I mean, it's not, I thought I have to carry that. <laughs> like, yes, it's my emergency injection. I have to carry it. But yeah, I've been feeling pretty good. I had like a week where I felt really unwell um, and I was really worried I'd have to go back to hospital, but I didn't. I managed to like just updose my medication myself and yeah I managed to sort of like it was really horrible I had three days off work and I felt really rough and I kept I phoned the doctors like twice and talked to doctors on the phone twice um and then I emailed my specialist just to let them know something was happening basically but 
apart from that, I managed to manage it myself, which makes me feel better because I'm on a, a lot of these like support groups and they all seem to be saying the same thing, like avoid the hospital where you can, like try to manage it yourself, which is understandable because like I don't want the stress of having to go to hospital. So I managed it myself, but I sought advice. So I feel like I did I did the right thing. Anyway, back to the build. I, I'm kind of just focusing on the outside and the exterior kind of of the property at the moment. I'm going to go into and show you it live, the furnishing, because my computer just, I've got this issue. I need to get a new hard drive. My computer hard drive is full and no matter what, I keep deleting stuff. I keep, um, you know, uninstalling games that I don't play anymore and I just cannot, I always run out of space. So I've got one terabyte hard drive. I need to up it, I think. I've got an external drive, but I cannot find it for the life of me since I've moved house, which is a pain. So so I lost some footage. I lost the last clip of me actually furnishing the house. Um, I did fill it with filler furniture, which you might have spotted here and there. I just filled it with filler furniture so I knew what was going to go where, what room was going to be what, but it's not the final furniture. So I will show you in like a live clip the inside um, in a minute. But yeah. So yeah, I'm pretty much about to finish actually. I think I made the garden a bit smaller because it was too long and I was struggling with what to fill it with again because it's just base game only. But I'll show you the rest of the house in a moment and sorry I rambled there, I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to talk about with speed builds. Do you talk about other stuff or do you spend 10 minutes talking about build? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm hoping to get back into live streaming again soon. So if you haven't followed me on Twitch already, please do. I haven't been on for a few months obviously because I've been very, very seriously ill. And I've moved house and hunt a broadband. It's been an absolute nightmare. So I haven't been on for months, but I will get back into doing it properly. I don't know how my new broadband's going to be. My old one was excellent, but it wasn't, it was provided in the house and it was amazing. <laughs> this one I have to sort out myself. I don't think it's going to be as good, but I think it'll still be fine for Twitch streaming. Um, yeah, so I think it's going to be fine. But anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm quite proud of this little house. I think it's quite cute. So I have some screenshots at the end, but I will show you a live clip in a minute of the... Um, of the interior and yeah just bear in mind it's base game only so if you think it's a bit ugly i'm sorry i tried my best <laughs> it is a little ugly some of the rooms i'm like Ugh. you know i wish i could use dream home decorator and all that stuff but anyway i'll see you over there in a second okie dokie here we go guys so here's the external of the house which you probably saw in the video just now i'm I'm pretty proud of this. I think I did all right considering. I mean, I'm no builder. I'm no I'm no fancy builder on YouTube, so I feel like I've done an all right job. The outside, we've got some picnic tables, some planter boxes. We've got a hot tub. Why not have a hot tub? And a grill and another little table. And obviously, an outdoor trash can. Very essential. Oh, that's annoying. Why are they in the wrong place? Hold the phone. Use move objects cheat. So make sure if you do download it from the gallery that you have that turned on. I think I used some gameplay unlocks as well you know some items that are only um available through gameplay so you can also turn that cheat on as well so you come into the house and uh the hallway is pretty bare i mean i did struggle with what to put in it because again this is base game only but you know we've got a little console table we've got some bookshelves got a little chair some paintings all that good stuff uh here this was going to be a downstairs toilet but i decided it was too small and two bathrooms next to each other didn't really make sense so i made it into like a downstairs closet uh, you know where you might throw your coats and your shoes as you come in also if i had like the dust the bus kit installed i would have put like maybe the vacuum cleaner in here but uh, for now it's just that i'll just give you some ideas in case you've got some other packs and you do want to play in this house um, and then we have a bar from here i quite like the color scheme in here gray white and sort of this nice purpley color yeah i quite like the bathroom it's basic so i didn't want to make this house ridiculously expensive it is quite expensive it comes in at 100k i uh, don't know what it would be unfurnished but i didn't want to go too mad with the bathroom just the basic bathroom is fine and then in through the double doors we have the um master bedroom which again i was a bit limited with the base game i think but i i think it turned out all right i think it looks all right um got all the all the necessities a mirror we got lights we got the bed bedside tables all of that so i feel like it's 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 fine <laughs> and then we have a little office slash uh, skill building so we've got a chess table we've got another bookshelf and we've got the computer and a little office downstairs. I think that's a nice little room actually. And then over on the other side of the hallway, we have the living room. It's a little small, but it's got everything we need in it. It's got the TV, another bookshelf. I think I've used that bookshelf maybe like three times, but I kind of like the color scheme in here. I think it's cozy. I think it's like a, 
a nice living room. The sofas look comfy anyway. I think some of the base case sofas aren't very nice. So actually, I think this one, these ones are not too bad. I wish there was more colours of them. I wish there was a white. Uh, but there's only three colours, I think, which is a bit of a shame. And then we have a really nice kitchen diner. I really like the kitchen. I think it's, you know, it's big. It's got loads of space, loads of storage. We've got the sink. We've got a little island. Uh, I tried to add a few extra little accessory pieces here and there. And uh, I did have a coffee pot over here. I think that's moved since um, maybe something went a bit wrong but yeah I did have a coffee pot there so I'll pop that back there <laughs> I've got a decent fridge and a decent oven in this build which probably doesn't add to the the price of the house but I thought they looked nice so yeah I'm pretty proud of the kitchen and then a little dining room nothing too fancy just a basic dining room but I think it looks all right the artwork is another thing in the base game it's either really really fancy or it's like posters there's not that much art that is kind of just in the middle but anyway, that's the downstairs. I think it's a nice family home. Definitely could be done up a bit more with extra expansion packs and things. But this is um, a teenage uh, bedroom. I just kind of picked one bed and kind of decorated around that. So I imagine it's a teenage teenager's bedroom. Um, I've got some posters on the wall, guitar. Um, this is a uh, games table because I was like, mm, what else could they have to fill up this space? So they've got a little games table and we've got a fish tank. And I don't even know what this is. What is this one? The boneyard, what is that? It is, I think it's another fish tag. Well, this kid clearly likes fish. <laughs> well, we didn't have cats and dogs installed, so they just like fish. And then um, over here, we've got a toddler's room, which I think has turned out pretty cute. And some of this stuff surprised me that it was base game, but it is. So there you go. It's on the gallery. So my gallery ID is carry 266 If you would like it, if you don't, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, I'll put some screenshots up um yeah let me know if you want to see more builds on my channel they are basic they're never going to be anything crazy fancy but maybe that's what we need sometimes um so if you want to see more builds from me please let me know and um don't forget i've got all my let's plays on my channel if you want to watch some gameplay footage um i'm currently playing eco lifestyle and rags to riches at the moment and soon we'll be getting into cottage living i just don't want to have too many let's plays going on at once but uh, yeah don't forget to follow me on twitch if you haven't already and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already thank you so much i appreciate it so much and uh i hope to see you soon bye guys